Hi, it's Professor Pistone here. And today I'd like to talk about creating polls in Zoom. So here I am in the Zoom portal, and I'm going to start by clicking on the meeting that I'd like to add the polls to. So here I've saved a meeting called Boot Camp Designing Your Online Law Course, and I'm going to click on it and get to the um, get to the, the meeting information. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that there's a tab for polls. So I can click on polls, and you can see that I've added some polls to this um, to this webinar, this boot camp already. And I have some polls um, here, but I can add a new one. And so I'll add one, and I'm going to call it poll um, during. I'm going to. I'm going to. The the name that I use for it is when I want it. When I want to use it in the boot camp. So I want to use it at the end of let's say end of plenary three around one. 25. So you're gonna we're gonna use this poll um, around 125 in plenary three, and I click anonymous because I don't need to know who the who who's responding or what their answers are. If I were using in, in this in class, I'd decide whether I wanted to make it anonymous or not. And now um, I like to write my questions in a Word document and then transfer them into the poll so that I have them in case I want to use them again for another purpose. So I have that open on another page and I'll go here and the question I've already written out. So I'll insert it into this box. So of the demonstrations discussed today, which do you think you might try in your online course design? fill in all that apply. So because I want people to fill in all that apply, I'm going to hit multiple choice, which means that um, you can each fill in as, or choose as many as you want. If I only wanted a single choice, I would uh, select the other one. And then you can see here I have a list of the, the options. So A through G. So discussion boards, word, uh, voice recordings, etc. So discussion boards, I can add that here voice recording and uh, let's see what else I had role plays video recordings so role plays and I could either I could either type them in myself myself or I could um, copy and paste written exercises polls breakout rooms Now when I'm done, I hit save, which is on the bottom, and I've saved my poll. And you can see that it came up here, uh, poll six, end of plenary three, around 125. So this is going to, you'll, um, we'll use this during plenary three. And that's how you create polls in Zoom. I hope you enjoyed this and that it was a useful video.